Any plans for uh, Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, uh, family. Family. Food. Food. Yeah. Turkey. Ham. Mom's house. Mom's house. Before Rob Kardashian made a name for himself on the small screen with appearances and keeping up with the Kardashians, Chloe and Lamar, and even made it to the finals on Dancing with the Stars. The samba and the bamba. Before Rob cashed in on club appearances, took a shot at managing the girl pop group BG5, and then launched his own dress sock line, bringing his net worth to an estimated six million dollars. What do you do, and what is your job? Literally, my job is I make socks. That's all I do. Before Rob would scoop up Hollywood babes, including Adriana, Balin, Rita Ora, and then hook up with porn star Lisa Ann. Is he wild? I'm not sure. He's young. He's young. He's the perfect little boy for a cougar. Really? <laughs> before Rob Kardashian put on an easy 100 pounds and was hospitalized for diabetes, before proposing to Black China, and the two would star in their own show. Look who's grilling. Yeah, Rob. That looks really good. Say cheese, Robert. Yo, what is this? It's called a billy. Robert Kardashian Jr. has been surrounded by the rich and famous folk of Hollywood since day number one. Growing up in a family surrounded by females, he's actually the one that people peg as being sensitive and emotional. But in high school, he was a fantastic athlete as a long distance runner and on the basketball team. When he was growing up, he didn't want to become rich and famous. His father was rich, but he had taught his son to be humble. Then Kim Kardashian, she started rubbing her bits with other Hollywood A-listers, and all of a sudden, Rob couldn't seem to escape his destiny of becoming the least famous of the Kardashian clan. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life and career of Rob Kardashian here for you on Before They're Famous. Now, I'm not going to knock the guy on his weight gain. I remember when this channel blew up, I put on a good 20, 30 pounds. This suit was not fitting. Still isn't fitting that good. We've done videos on his sister as well as his baby mama, Black China. Be sure to check those out. In the meantime, let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. No, I'd eat. I have In N Out and Taco Bell and Pizza Hut and Domino's almost every day. Robert Arthur Kardashian was born in Los Angeles on March 17, 1987. He's the youngest brother to Kourtney, Kim, and Khloe Kardashian and is of Armenian descent. That's on his father's side. From his mother's ancestry, he is of English, Scottish, Irish, German, and Dutch as well. Now, as I did in the Before They Were Famous video on his half sisters, Kendall and Kylie, I'm going to wrap things up right here. The dude was born into a famous family. Case closed. You're still here? You want to know more? <clears throat> All right. Well, his father Robert was a well known attorney, and his mother Chris was a flight attendant before the two married. His parents split when he was four or five, but Chris and Robert remained close friends. In 1991, his mother ended up marrying star Olympian Bruce Jenner. This has time. been a really tough year, for, you know, tough 15 months for all of us. And not only have we lost Nicole, we've lost OJ too. Rob witnessed his family's first media frenzy in 1995 when his father was set to defend OJ Simpson in a highly publicized murder trial. The sensationalized celebrity case mesmerized the nation, and it certainly touched closer to home because OJ had been living with the Kardashians prior to the trial, and it was Robert Kardashian's Ford Bronco that OJ had fled in. Yeah, you know the vehicle. Everybody loves you. Don't do this. I know you're thinking, oh, man, just throw it out the window. Robert Kardashian Jr. has described himself as being the emotional type. His baby blanket that he was gifted from his Nana as a little boy, he has kept with him into his adulthood and he still sleeps with it till this day. I know, right? How the hell did this mofo get with Lisa Ann? I gotta get me a baby blanket. Right now, I'm gonna be going back to LA for about a month, so I'm hoping that he and I can really get in the gym together, because we used to work out together, and try and get him back in shape, because I know that'll make him feel great. Rob attended Buckley High School, where his stepdad, Bruce, must have taught him a thing or two, because Rob became an incredible long distance runner. He took top prize at multiple statewide competitions, and he was also the star athlete on his high school basketball team. Clearly, a few things have since changed for starters. Bruce is now Caitlin. And let's just say Rob could use a good jog once in a while. It wouldn't hurt. What food do you miss the most since going on this diet? In and out, but we eat in and out. I know, I see you in and out like every second day. <laughs> when Rob was 15, tragedy struck, his father was diagnosed with a type of cancer that I cannot pronounce. So let's do this. 
esophageal cancer and passed away less than eight weeks later. The entire family was devastated, but luckily the Kardashians are very close and banded together to help them get through this dark time. As Rob was wrapping up high school and gearing up for college, big sister Kim was making waves in media after an old sex tape of her and singer Ray J was leaked, making the Kardashians name a hot pop culture ticket. Momager Chris saw an opportunity to jump on the reality TV bandwagon and pitched her idea to Ryan Seacrest, who was looking to riff off the success of earlier shows like The Osbournes. Rob's personal life being exploited for television ratings and television dollars started off innocently enough when the family was first filmed just enjoying a simple barbecue. She's like the jiggles. Mom, she's always had an ass. Where did this come from? Well, Unlike his sisters, Rob didn't have much interest in becoming a socialite or a celebrity, and instead was aspiring to work as a professional like his father. He was attending USC's Marshall School of Business when the reality show Keeping Up with the Kardashians premiered in 2007. Hey, I need someone to make me laugh. Where's Kim? Kim is always late. Oh. Here. Get out of her way. Stop. He shied away from being in the spotlight and instead made occasional appearances on the show. But soon enough, he was dragged into the world of the rich and famous along with his mom and siblings. But hey, it wasn't all bad. His new celebrity status helped him snag knockout babes, including Adrienne Balin, you might know her from the Cheetah Girls, and later Rita Ora. Rob was starting to like the perks of fame and was considering dropping out of university to model full time. In the end, he stuck it out after his mom and girlfriend encouraged him to finish. He graduated in 2009. As the show gained success, Rob began appearing in episodes more regularly, and then he signed up for the 13th season of Dancing with the Stars, which you should probably sign up to go on again. I mean, they dance your pants off. It's great for weight loss. Just gotta go surfing again. you a surfer? You wanna have a surf together? Yeah. We can shred, bro. I'm kidding. I don't do no shredding. <laughs> As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before their fans. We recently did a biography video on Black China. Be sure to check that one out. But we've done many on the Kardashian family, including Kim and Chloe and Chris and Kendall and Kylie and Bruce. So that's a bunch. Get going. Or be sure to check out some of our other videos. We talk about actors, singers, rappers, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys in another video. And Rob, if you're watching this one, I feel you, bro. Got a bit of a weight issue myself. I got a trainer now though, it really helped. You can afford one, you should do it too.